Hey, I just uh, posted the second part of the tutorial uh, creating this uh, character and one of the uh, things that I ran into is uh, needing to copy something over, right? And um, I feel like this should be maybe its own little separate tutorial because when I did it in the last video, it was part of this big thing and it's an hour long. Um, but I really do want to make sure that um, I show how to do this uh, in its own little separate mini video. So here's the thing, if, uh, and this is, uh, you know, for anyone who is uh, new to uh, ZBrush, a lot of times if you want to copy something over, for example, I have these two kind of uh, pieces, uh, eye pieces that I created for the character, right? And let me just hide one of them, okay? So let's say I want to copy this over to the other side, but this has um, a bunch of subdivisions uh, to it. So if I go to the geometry, you can see in my geometry, I have five subdivision levels on this guy, right? So uh, check this out. If I turn on the polyframe, right? And let me change my material for a second. If I uh, dial this down, you can see that um, here's the low one, right? And then it has five subdivision levels. So usually, uh, again, for anyone who is new to ZBrush, um, if you attempt to simply uh, copy this over to the other side or mirror it over, right? It's not gonna let you. Um, because it has subdivision levels. Let me demonstrate that. So if I say duplicate, right, I'll create a third one. And let's say I wanna copy this over with the subdivision levels by just simply using mirror. Well, if I press mirror, you can see that I'm gonna get a, um, a message, a note. This function cannot be applied to a mesh with multiple subdivision levels. But what happens if I wanna maintain the subdivision levels and on top of that, I also need to mirror it over? What do you do then? Well, what you could do is this. You can go to the geometry and you can uh, delete lower, right? So I'm gonna delete lower on this guy and then I'm gonna mirror it across. So now it's on this side and um, now it doesn't have the subdivision levels, but we do have a really cool handy button here called reconstruct subdiv. And because this current piece was subdivided five times, if I press this uh, four times, right? One, two, three, four, now you can see that uh, ZBrush reconstructed, right? The subdivision levels for this element. So now if I go back up to level five and let me turn on the um, polyframe, you can see that it successfully rebuilt the entire thing. So essentially it's a really cool trick to copy things over and not lose your uh, subdivision detail if you are creating uh, both a low poly and high res uh, during modeling or sculpting. All right, so that's the point of this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.